Hi everyone, welcome back to our new tutorial. Hope you guys are well. So today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you guys can create this amazing grocery shop website in WordPress. And I will show you every process step by step. And we will create this website in a localhost server. Here you can see that we are now in our localhost. So after creating this website into localhost, I will upload this website in a live server so that everyone can check out my website. So for hosting my website, I will go to dominisa.com. So this is the website for dominisa.com and I will give you a link in the description below. You guys can find it here. And after uploading my WordPress website in dominisa, my website will be looking like this one. Here you can see that now we are in our live server. This is my domain name. And uh, now let's see what we have in this website. Here you can see that in the top we have a text here. And uh, this text is saying that we are committed to provide service 24 into 7. And then in the right side we have some social media icons. And uh, here we have our logo here and our navigation links here. And here we have our call to section and then email ID also. And uh, underneath this here you can see that we have a category option. So that we can choose anything from here by category. And then here we have a search option then our search button here. Then we have our wishlist account and our cart list here you can see that we have a cart list here also. And underneath this here you can see that we have a sliding option here with some information here. And uh, underneath this here you can see that we have our feature option and uh, currently now we have 4 feature. And uh, here you can see that we have our top rated products and uh, underneath this here you can see that we have our product list here. And uh, in the right section here you can see that we have our product list, some of our products here. And we have a sliding option here also and if you now click on our personal care another list of product we can see here and uh, let's go over food grains and oil so this is the category for this one and then daily products also and underneath this here you can see that we have our all products and here we will find all of our products here and uh, we have our sliding option here also and this is so cool and here you can see that we have our recent posts and uh, recent comment also and underneath this here you can see that we have a call to action and in this call to action and we can contact here. So after this one we have another sliding option for our products here and we have some button here also. And then here we have our archives and categories here then meta also. And underneath this here you can see that we have a big banner here for advertisement or for anything else we can set up here. And underneath this here you can see that we have our latest news and we have some buttons here also. And here at the last here you can see that we have our footer option and in this footer option we have now four column. In our first column we have our logo, some text and our Google Play and Apple Store button here. Then we have our product list, product categories and contact details here. And in this contact details we can add our address, our contact norm and our email address also. And uh, here you can see that we have a beautiful button for our go to top. Now let's click on this button and here you can see that we are now in our top section. Now let's go to our shop. And here you can see that in our shop page we have a list of products here. And uh, underneath this here you can see that we have a pagination option here also. Now let's click on our page 2. And uh, these are the list of our product page 2. And uh, now this is looking good. And uh, now let's go to our contact us page. And in this contact us page here you can see that we have a contact us form here. We have our name field, our email, contact none and our image field also. And then we can click on our submit here. And now let's go to our my account and this tab is actually for our user account so that user can check out their dashboard orders downloads address account details and their logout also so now let's go to our home section again now let's buy a product from here now select a product and i will select this one organic orange now click on this product and here you can see that we are now in this product page and here we have our quantity system also quantity increasing and decreasing part so now let's add to cart this product and then here you can see that now we have a view card option now click on this view card so this is our card list now let's proceed to checkout so now here you can see that we are now in our checkout page and in this page we have to give our information of our name, company name and the country name, street address, town, country, postcode, phone number, email address and etc etc then we can click on our place order. And in our checkout page we can add some other option also like PayPal and then wire transfer and the other options also. So now let's go to our home page. And guys in a few moments I will show you how we can create this grocery shop website in WordPress. 
and uh, before you start if you guys are new in my channel then please please subscribe like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and if you guys have any question about this video you guys can comment below so let's get started so first we have to create a fresh wordpress admin panel and if you guys don't know how to install wordpress in localhost please guys check out my previous video i will give a link in the suggestion box you guys can find it here so after creating a new wordpress admin panel now please guys a small request from me that follow my steps exactly as i do because i will import demo content here also and if we don't import demo content we have to start everything from scratch and then it will be a lot of works to do and our video will be also two or three hours long and i don't want to take that much time from you so that's why guys please follow my steps and uh, from here now go to our appearance and then our theme options and uh, from this theme i will add a new theme so that's why click on add new theme and now go to our search themes and uh, here we have to write open shop that's it and uh, this is the theme which we are going to import for our project now let's click on our install button so after installing this theme now we have to activate this theme also so now here you can see that we have successfully activated our theme from here now here in the top we can see a message that get started with open shop now click on this and then now here you can see that we have a list of plugins here and uh, now we have to install everyone so that's why click on install now so now here you can see that we have successfully installed all of these plugins from here now I scroll down and here you can see that we have a option here import demo site now click on this C library and here you can see that if we scroll down we have three theme here and we can choose any one from here so our website is actually a grocery website so that's why I will choose this one so that's why I will click on import and then yes import and in a few minutes our demo content will be imported in our website so guys here you can see that we have successfully imported our demo content so now I will go to our appearance again and then go to our theme section. And from our theme section I will hide this message. And then here you can see that we have installed these plugins and we don't want these plugins anymore. So that's why I will delete these plugins from here. So that's it guys. Now we have only one plugin here. Now go to our dashboard and from here let's view our site. So guys now here you can see that we have successfully imported our demo content and it is looking beautiful. And now we don't have to start everything from scratch. We can add and we can modify, we can customize this website easily. And then now I will show you how we can modify this website, how we can add new products and set up these navigation links and this other stuff also. So for doing this let's go to our customize section. And from this customize section we will customize a few things and then the rest of settings I will do from our admin panel. So now let's go to our customize field and then go to our first option which is WordPress default. Now click on this and then here we can see a site identity. Now let's go to our site identity and here you can see that first we have our logo. This means this logo here and we can add new logo also here and if you guys want. Now I will add a new logo here. So for doing this let's click on change logo. And I will upload a file from my computer. So that's why I select file. So from here I will select the logo. Now I scroll down. And here you can see that we have a logo here. Now I will click on this logo and open. That's it. Our logo is now uploaded. Now click on the select button. And here you can see that they are asking for cropping. Now I will not crop my image. So that's why I skip copying. So now here you can see that we have successfully uploaded our logo. And if you guys want you can change the size of this icon. Here you can see that we, we can adjust the size of this logo. So I will keep this in 145. That's it. Now let's go back and from here now go to our home page setting. And from this home page setting if you guys want you can change it to your latest post. And I will keep this aesthetic page. So that's it now let's go back. And here you can see that we have an option for additional CSS. And in this CSS if you want you can overwrite your styling from this website. And I will not do that from here. So that's why I go back and then go to our layout. And here you can see that we have our header. Now click on header. Here you can see that we have two options. Now let's click on above header. And here you can see that we have four as style. We can choose any one from here. And here you can see that we have no styling. And we have one column, two column, three column. 
now our this header is now actually in two column this one column and here is another column and if you guys want you can choose three column also but i will choose the two column option because it's looking better and uh, now here you can see that we have our text here for our this text we can change this text from here and we can change this here also if we want we can add some social media icons here so let me show you how we can do this so for doing this here you can see that we have a menu and let's click on and we can select anything from here so i will add social media icons so that's why i will click social media and then here you can see that we have so many icons from here social media icons but i don't want everyone like here so i will delete someone from here so that's why i click on this go to social media and uh, from here let's go to the bottom here and uh, i don't want this skype and uh, this drift this one this one and this one also that's it so now here you can see that we have only a few icons and uh, and this is now looking good now after this one now here you can see that we have our blog here if you want we can change this blog here and this, and here you can see that this blog is now accept content it means it will change the width and height according to the content size and if we want we can select the full content also and it will show the full content and then here you can see that we have a length for 30 and we can adjust this length from here also and uh, then let's go to our footer and if we now go to the footer here you can see that this is actually above footer for this one for this one and if you now click on this here you can see that we have also four option here and uh, now currently our footer is now in two column this one column and another column is here if we want we can change this text here from here here you can see that we have a menu here we can add anything from here if we don't want menu and if you now scroll down here you can see that we have a widget here and this widget is saying that our this payment gateway is actually this widget and if we want we can change it here also and but i don't want to change anything from here so now go back and now let's go to our widget footer and here you can see that we are now selected in our four column one two three and four and the other option are actually for our premium not for free then let's go to our below footer and here you can see that in our below footer this below footer is for our this copyright section here you can see that we have our text for this one and uh, we can actually change the text from here if we want we can add some text here for changing these things and i hope you guys can do this now let's go back and here you can see that we have a move to and uh, this is actually a button which which will appear here if we now scroll down we will show that button and uh, now let's enable this one and uh, we, we should see a button here or go to the top here you can see that we have a button now if we now click on this button we will go to the top here that's it and, and uh, this is also pretty awesome and then there is a rtl also and uh, we don't want this rtl now so let's so go back and then let's go to our front page section and here you can see that we have a top slider which is actually this slider and uh, now here you can see that we have two uh, styling and uh, currently we are using this one and here you can see that we have actually two slide here one and uh, this one two and if we want we can add more slide from here Let's just click on add new slide and uh, from this slide now we have to upload an image so i will upload an image from my computer so let's so click on select files and then select a file from here so i will choose this one now open and then click on insert into post and here you can see that we have successfully imported our image here as a slide number three and if we want we can add more slide also here and i hope now you can add slides as your own and now let's go back and here we have our highlights this highlights is actually these features we have now four features here four feature actually we can add more here also if we now click on this add feature and we can also edit these icons this text from here just click on features and here you can see that we have an icon and for our text here and then on our text here also we can change everything from here so i will not change anything from here now now let's go back and here you can see that we have a tabbed product cursor and this is the product cursor here and uh, here you can see that we have a text here for this one category slider this is category slider and uh, then we can select some categories from here now currently we have only two categories so that's why there is showing only two category and uh, later if we add more categories the categories will be shown here and uh, so that's why i will select everyone from here now let's see here you can see that now our categories is now showing and uh, one is for personal care and the second one is for our pet care now let's click on our pet care and let's see what we have in this slide here you can see that we have only two product here 
and uh, now let's go back and here you can see that we have a u category also and in this u category now you can see that we are currently in our this slide okay now let's go back and uh, now let's go to our product carousel so this is our product carousel here you can see that and uh, here this product is for all products and uh, we can set them with categories from here now it's actually selected in all categories if we want we can choose others also and uh, now here you can see that we have two row here first one and second one and if we want one row we can do that also just we have to click on this enable single row slide and then now here you can see that we have one row and i think one row is actually looking much better so that's it now let's go back and uh, let's go to our ribbon this ribbon is actually for our call to action and uh, now i will change this text from here and this will be any question in mind that's it and then i will change this text of this button also and this will be contact now that's it guys now let's go to our product list carousel so this is our product list carousel and then now we have actually list for our daily use and then here you can see that we are selected on all categories if we want we can change this category also but i will not change anything from here then let's go to our banner so this is our banner section now currently it is blank we can add our new banner and uh, we have two style for this one and the first one is one row and one column and second one is three column here and we can choose any one from here and i will choose the first one so now i will add an image here so for adding image now click on change image and i will upload an image from my computer so that's why select files and if you scroll down here you can see that we have many images now we have to select an image from here now I will select this one and then open and now let's click on choose image so now here you can see that we have successfully added our banner here and if we want we can change this image also so now let's go back and now let's go to our total color and bg option and here you can see that we have a global color and a header now let's go to our global color and the global color is actually for this color so here you can see that we have actually a light green color I don't know what is this color and we can change this color from here we can actually change this color from here here you can see that we are changing our color so now let's give a different color i think this one is good okay let's select this color and then here you can see that we can change our link color also and we can change our hover color text color title color background color and background image also but i will not change anything from here but if you guys want to change anything let's click on this option you can find an option for changing your color and the background now let's go back okay let's go to again and here you can see that we have two options here first one is light and the second one is dark now we are in our actually in light mode if we click on our dark mode let's see what happens here you can see that our background color change it to the black color but i will go for light color now let's go back and here you can see that we have a header option also and the above header and in this above header if you guys want you can add an image here but I don't want to change or add any image here now. So after this one, now let's go to our preloader. So this is our preloader image and uh, I want to change the image of preloader because I will add our this logo in our preloader. So for doing this, let's go to our change image. And from here, I will select the logo and then choose image. So now here you can see that we have successfully added our logo as a preloader. Now let's go back and then go to our social icons. And this is actually for our social media icons. If you guys want, you can add your own Facebook URL and your own LinkedIn, Pinterest and Instagram account also. And for doing this, you just have to remove this hash and then type your link here www.facebook.com like this one. And you can add your social media links here also. So after this one, now let's go to our menu. Currently two section here. First one is main menu. And here you can see that in our main menu, we have home, shop, vegetable and fruits, upgrade to pro and then contact us. But here you can see that we have so many menus here. But I will add and delete some menus from here. But I will not do that in our customization area. I will do that in our admin panel, not here. So now let's go back and top header. Here are the top headers like these three actually. Orders, then account details and logout. Then here you can see that we have a widget here and here this widget is actually for our sidebar here you can see that this sidebar first one is our primary sidebar our footer top then footer widget area one two three and four 
Now let's click primary sidebar. So this sidebar here you can see that first one is our search. Here you can see the first one is our search. Then our recent post. Here you can see that our recent post and the recent comment here, archives here, category, meta, product also and the product by writing also. From here we can reorder our this section here. Now let's change this and uh, our product by rating will be here. Let's see. It. Now here you can see that our product is now in the top section. And now let's change this product also. And this will be here. Here you can see that after our products. So now we can reorder things from here. Now let's go back. And here you can see that we are now in our footer top second wizard. And uh, here are now our image here. Here you can see that. And here you can see that this image for our payment gateway. So I don't want to change anything from here. So that's why let's go back and then go to our footer widget area one. And this is actually for this one. Here you can see that we have image for this section, text for this section, and image another one image for this section. Now let's change our logo from here. So I will change this logo now. So for doing this, let's click on replace image. And from here, I will select our logo and then add to widget. So now here you can see that we have successfully added our image but this image is actually a little bit of bigger for this column. So I will adjust the size from here. So for doing this edit image and then from here I will select thumbnail that's it. Now let's upgrade. So now here you can see that our image is now perfectly showing and then if we want we can change this text also. So for doing this let's click on our text and from our text we can change this text here but I don't want to change anything from here. Then we can change these images for our Google Play and then App Store also. But I will not do that. Then we can go to our second footer. Here you can see that second column which is products list. Then our third, third one is our product categories. Then our fourth one is for our text here, our contact details. And if we want, we can add new address here. We can add new contact number, add new email address also. So you can do that, I think. Here you can see that we have our WooCommerce. And I will set up our WooCommerce section in our admin panel, not here. So now let's publish. And now let's go to our website and now refresh. And then now we have to go to our admin panel and I will set up our this navigation links. So for doing this, go to our admin panel. And from appearance, now go to our menu section. And from our menu section, here you can see that we have selected our main. And then I will add these things in our main, not others. So that's why we have to select main from here also then let's save menu that's it now let's go to our theme and then refresh so now guys here you can see that we have only five menus here and if we want we can add more menu here so i will show that here also so now i will add this sample page in our this menu so for doing this let's select this one and then add to menu here you can see that we have added our menu now we have to save this menu and then go to our website and now refresh here you can see that we have successfully added a new menu here but I don't want this menu here so I will delete this menu here so for doing this let's go to our admin panel and then from here we have to remove this one so remove that's it now save menu and go to our website and now refresh so here you can see that our sample menu is now deleted so now guys here you can see that we have some products here now I will show you how we can add new products and new categories in this website so for doing this, let's go to our WordPress admin panel. And here you can see that if you go to the top, here you can see that we have actually a section for products. And if we now click on this all products. So now here you can see that we have a list of products. And these are the products we actually added to our website. Now I will add new products and I will show you how we can do this. And we can add new products by clicking on add new button from here. And we can also do that from here also. So I will click on add new. And here you can see that we have our new page and in this page first we have to give a name for our products. So our product name will be fresh orange. That's it. Now we have to give a description for this product and we will write description in this section. That's it. So after adding our description now we have to add an image for our product. So for adding image now click on set product image and I will upload an image from my computer. So that's why I select files. And now let's find out an image of uh, orange. So I will add this one and open. That's it. Now set product image. So now here you can see that we have successfully added our product image. Now if you guys want to add more image, you can do that also by adding product gallery images. 
So after this one now I will add our category and from here I will add a category and our category will be let's see vegetable and fruits that's it now we have to add our sale price and our regular price will be 40 and our sale price will be 35 that's it and from here you can add more functionality to your product like inventory and the shipping address and then linked products attributes advanced and then get more option here so but I will not do anything from here so now here you can see that we have successfully added our name for our product we have added our price we have added a description our image and our category here also now we have to publish this product here so that's why I click on publish so now here you can see that we have successfully added a new product here now let's go to our website and now refresh and uh, we should find out our product here here you can see that our new products which is fresh orange we have added a few minutes ago now I will add another product so for doing this click on add new and now let's give a name for our product that's it and I will add a description here the, this one and I will add an image now select this image and then open so that's it now click on set product image so now here you can see that we have successfully added our image also now we have to select a category and I will add this one then we have to add a price and the price will be 45 and then 20 that's it now we have to click on publish button so that's it guys we have successfully added a new products also now let's go to our website and now refresh so now here you can see that here is our product we have added our product here now click on this product so this is our product which is 20 and then we have our description here also and uh, here is our quantity and then now let's add to cart and then click on view card here you can see that we have our card totals and then now let's click on product to check out and here is our billing details our other things here so after filling this information we have to click on place order so this will also work okay now let's go to our admin panel and then from here go to our WooCommerce then settings and then go to our payments and here you can see that we have actually four options for our transition one is our direct bank transfer check payments cash on delivery paypal standard so i will choose this one cash on delivery so now we have to set up this one so for setup now click on setup and then from here you can choose your title description and the instruction also and then enable for shipping methods so i will not change anything from here so let's click on save changes so now guys we have successfully set up our payment option also so now here you can see that we have successfully added our payment section our products now i will show you how we can add categories here so for adding categories let's go to our products and here you can see that in our products we have a category section here also now click on these categories and here are the list of our all categories and if we want to add a new category we have to add the name here and the name would be fruits that's it then our slack and the slack will be also fruits that's it and then if you want you can add a parent category also and i don't want to add a parent category then you can add a description here also now let's add two new category so now here you can see that we have successfully created our new category which is fruits and if we want to delete this category now simply click on this delete button and then ok here you can see that we have successfully deleted our category from here so guys now here you can see that we have successfully created our wordpress website so guys here you can see that we have successfully created this wordpress website and we have customized this website we have added our background color and our images and the new products new categories here and if you guys want you can add more categories add more products and uh, you can change the style of this website also and I hope you can do that after watching this tutorial so now I will upload this website in a live server so for doing this first we have to go to our admin panel localhost admin panel and from here we have to add a plugin here because I will first download this localhost website into my computer then I will upload this website into a live server so for downloading this website we have to add a new plugin so for doing this now let's scroll down and then from here plugin now click on add new now let's go to our search plugins and here we have to write all in one wp migration so this is the plugin which we have to install now click on this install now so after installing now we have to activate this plugin now click on this activate so after installing our plugins if we scroll down here you can see that we can see our plugins which is all in one wp migration now we have to export our website so that's why I click on this export button 
and then here you can see that we have a export to option here now click on this option now i want to export my website as a file so that's why i will select as a file and then now in a few minutes our website will be exported and then now here you can see that we have to download this exported file into our computer now click on this download localhost that's it now here you can see that we have successfully downloaded our website into our computer now we have to upload this file into a live server so for doing this let's go to our domain register and here you have to create an account for your domain name but i have already an account into domain register so i will simply log in into my account so after logging into your account you will be directed to this page this admin panel and from here you can see that i have one service activated now click on this service and here you can see that this is my website link now i have to activate this link so that's why I click on this activate button and in this page if we now scroll down here you can see that we have option for login to cpanel now click on this login to cpanel and uh, now we are in our cpanel and uh, first we have to install wordpress into our cpanel so for doing this if we now scroll down to the bottom here we will find a script section and in this script section we can see a wordpress icon now click on this wordpress icon and uh, now we have to install this wordpress now click on install now and uh, from here you have to select a wordpress version which one you are currently using so mine is 5.6 and this is my domain name and in our directory i will keep this directory field empty that's it and you can add a new site name also but i don't want to add a new name then here in our password i will give my password which is one two three four five and six then from here check on our login limit and then classic editor then scroll down and then click on our install and our wordpress will be installed in a few minutes so now guys here you can see that we have two link here first one is for my website and the second one is for my wp admin so now open this two link from here so this is my website which one is actually looking like this one now and if we now go to our wordpress dashboard here you can see that now i have to upload my downloaded file in our live server so for doing this we have to add a new plugin so for doing this click on our plugin and then add new and here you have to search for all in one wp migration so this is the plugin now we have to install this plugin so after install now we have to activate this plugin now click on this activate so now here you can see that we have successfully installed our plugin so now scroll down and uh, here you can see that we have our plugin here all in one wp migration now we have to import our website into our live server so that's why click on import button and then select our import from and then now we have to select the option here so i have downloaded my website as a file now i have to upload this website as a file also now click on this file and then now we have to select our file which is this one localhost wp and then now open so now here you can see that our website is now uploading to our live website now we have to wait for a moment for uploading this website so after uploading this website into our live server our website will be looking like this one so that's it guys we have successfully created our website and then we have customized our website added new products new categories and uh, we have set up our payment gateway and then our menu section here also and i hope now you guys can customize your website your own and uh, that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys really enjoyed this tutorial then please please subscribe like this video and press the bell icon for the future videos and if you guys have any question about this video you guys can comment below so let's see you guys in our next tutorial